I'll see you. Annyeong! Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Open Ilsang. Today, aside from my daily life living, I just wanted to talk a bit about YouTube. But before that, today is a special moment for me because um, actually I've been dragging this for really long. I'm really excited to share with you that about two months ago, I kind of received my silver button for my channel and it sounds really awkward for me to talk about it because um, I'll tell you more about why later but let's do the unboxing of um, the button first. So, it's just right here. The legendary silver button! Thank you YouTube! Wow, there's a lot of mixed feelings for me. I don't know, I'm not, I wouldn't consider like until today. I still don't consider myself like a you YouTuber. I wonder what it'll feel like to have like my name on it. Jeanette Ong. Okay. Uh. <gasps> Are you ready? <gasps> Ta -da! <gasps> my silver button. Presented to Gina Sporo for passing 100,000 subscribers. This is all thanks to you guys! Um, firstly, I just really want to say thank you to all of you who has been following me since day one, which is January last year. I'm not a person that has a lot of words when it comes to talking in front of video. I'm better with typing and writing. Um, I want to thank uh, my followers on Instagram and YouTube for always encouraging me when it comes to dealing with nasty stuff or even um, down periods in my life. I feel that I have gained a community of friends that I never ever thought I would. Uh, what I really wanted to share with the rest of you is that you can be real in this world and that it's okay. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel like you're not enough. But my point is, even though it's okay to feel that way, I want to encourage all of you that you will come out of that shell and know that you don't have to stay that way. You can become a better version of yourself by overcoming it. So what I've learned over the years is that we as humans, we have the strength to overcome our own hardships. I feel that it really takes effort on yourself. It doesn't get easier. I mean, the hardship doesn't get easier, but the more you try to overcome your hardship just, you know, like that, you, you will cultivate a habit of trying to grasp the victory before you feel too sad and you're like, you're sinking and you cannot, you know, save yourself anymore. So the main reason why I really started YouTube, I think is because I don't know, I do feel a sense of guilt in terms of being coming out to public because as you all know, I've been in the shadows for about four years being with Hanzo ever since we started dating. I know that due to some struggles that he faced, he cannot um, put me in front of the camera. But the thing is, we started off really early even before YouTube uh, came into our lives. So I didn't know that he never wanted his like girlfriend to be on Instagram or any kind of social media. But for me, I feel that that makes a relationship real because it just gives me an idea of hiding and like he's not proud of me. So we really, really struggle a lot with him. I'm not saying that he's not. It's just that the nature of his job requires him to sort of not reveal the hundred percent of his personal life. At the beginning of his YouTube, um, we struggled a lot and we fought a lot and he made a lot of effort to put me out there. But uh, time and time again, every time it happens, we just fall back to zero whereby it's better to not just be in front of the camera. So because of that, our relationship suffered a lot in terms of me wanting to feel proud 
of it but he wanting to focus on his career first i'm not trying to say that he puts career before me but the thing is it's just a nature of fact that when um you're not married yet there's a lot of things to consider I'm not saying they will break up and stuff like that or so it's just a lot of hardships that we couldn't really express through the camera or even trying to be real to you guys right now i'm filming this video is because i just wanted to share with you guys that even though it might seem easy that we just film a video edit video and uh, upload a video a lot and a, a really a lot of background work goes to planning content brainstorming content and creating content that you guys will watch we also face our ups and downs when um, our video doesn't go well or we don't really know what to um, film. There comes dry periods of our lives whereby we don't know what works anymore and even up to now, both of us struggle because we both also don't know how far we can take this but having said that, um, for Hanso for the past 5 years and for me for the past 1 year, we are really, really, really grateful to all of you who have been watching our channel or even if you just come by, drop by, watch a video and come out, we're still very thankful to you. Haters, we are even more thankful to you because you make us want to shine even more for the world that is hurting out there and to show that actually we are people too, we have feelings too and we struggle as well. We also want to show that it is okay that we struggle in life and that's the reason why you mean so much to us because we can relate to you also and you, your words of encouragement mean so, so much to us especially for me because I'm Singaporean and living in Korea I feel that I am not qualified to talk too much about Indonesia because I don't know the language, the culture and all that the only contact I have with Indonesia is because Han Sol's fans, Bolo Bolo, all of you are Indonesians and you support me and I'm so thankful for that still it's just that I want to let Koreans know more about Singapore that's the reason why I'm going towards that direction so please do not misunderstand me I still love Indonesia a lot I, I kind of want to be like Han So because he's kind of like the bridge between Korea and Indonesia and that's what I aspire to be if you watch my video uh, <laughs> you will know that I wish that I can be the middle person somehow between Korea and Singapore because I feel that both countries have a lot of beryok like a lot of beauty in both its culture because it's very different this is what I want to highlight in my videos like introducing Korean culture to Singaporeans and introducing Singapore culture to Koreans. That's the reason why I started YouTube. I'm still a bit lost and trying to get along with it because when I first started, Hansel was like, go. And I was like, yes. I was like, go. But I fall and it's hard and, you know, it's tough. YouTube is a really tough world, so I respect every single youtuber out there that tries to make a content cut and edit the video and upload it on time <sighs> kudos to you guys because i know how tough it is i wish that youtube will actually become a platform for me to share my life with you and to communicate with you guys about you know just anything in the world it doesn't have to be about only korea and singapore but as women as girls I really feel for that. It's not that I don't like boys, but I feel that as a girl, I can reach out more to girls because I went through what it means to grow up as a lady. So yeah, I'm really grateful and thankful to you guys for giving me this button. Um, I'm not really good with talking in front of the camera yet. I will do my best and try not to be shy. If you do not know, I'm actually an introvert. I'm not an extrovert anymore. I used to be, but I don't know what changed me. But well, people just change in life and I am still um, immensely grateful to all of you for um, your support. I just wish that going forward, I just pray that um, I will become a, the salt and light to the world to show that, you know, life is not easy but there's a people, a community me, you, and everyone around us to support us in this journey so we will work hard together in our individual lives 
and together to make 2022 um, an even greater and better year for all of us. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!